York Times magazine called the Wexner Center for the Visual Arts one of the most unusual, unsettling structures in the United States. The Wexner Center is located at Ohio State University and was designed by Richard Trott and the internationally renowned architect Peter Eisenman. Its distinctive geometry is based on the measurement 12 and 1 quarter degrees, the precise angle of intersection of the university grid and the grid of the city of Columbus. In March 1988, Elise Bernhardt, artistic director of Dancing in the Streets, was invited to Columbus to view the still under construction Wexner Center and to produce a performance event that would introduce the community to this unconventional structure. The building itself was indeed amazing, like a submarine emerging from the sea, said the New York Times. However, the challenge of transforming an active construction site into a performance arena was unlike anything Dancing in the Streets had yet faced. There was a remarkable feeling of cooperation and enthusiasm from everyone involved, from construction workers and dancers to the foremen and technicians. Everyone was taken up in the excitement of making this performance happen in spite of impossible odds. Even the iron workers, men who had worked on the building all day, moving like tightrope walkers on the slender beams, rehearsed late into the night. They became featured performers in the finale and their presence emphasized the theme of the construction site as theater. The intense five-day rehearsal period was highlighted by a brilliant thunderstorm that turned dress rehearsal into an unforgettable endurance test. The performance began precisely at sunset with Fanfare for a New Building, a site-specific dance by Stephen Koplowitz, made for 15 Ohio-based dancers and performed on the roof, the axis of the Wexner Center. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wexner Center for the Visual Arts and our presentation of 12 and a quarter degrees primary access. Because this building is under construction, please do not touch, sit, or lean on any of the scaffolding or the building materials around you. Once inside, the audience could experience dances in progress throughout the building. Suspended from the iron beams, Elizabeth Streb and her partner performed the free-flying airwaves aloft in the gallery space. On the other side of the gallery, the audience walked among the dancers in Susan Hadley's multiple staged Near Miss, accompanied by the music of Bradley Sowash. Outside, the audience could focus on accordionist Guy Klosevic, or watch Airlines, a beautiful and athletic extension of the building's grid, performed by Streb's troupe Ringside. The dance, Phantom Fenestrations, completely transformed the Wexner Center into an active work of art. This complex collaboration utilized the glass wall of the building as a canvas onto which the shadows of dancers were projected from inside. Large and small images exchanged places on the glass panels as dancers were raised on mechanical lifts. And as these shadow patterns appeared and disappeared, the iron workers slowly ascended the steel grid outside. Twelve and one quarter degrees primary access welcomed the community into the radically designed Wexner Center. This unique performance offered the crowd of 2,000 its first opportunity to actually experience the construction site. It achieved a balance between spectacle, architecture, and performance, 
and focused the city's attention on a building more recognized around the world than at home. This Dancing in the Streets production helped the Columbus audience to experience the Wexner Center as a kinetic and vital part of their community.